and Coco family. We are in River Sally, St. Patrick today, and it is Saraka time. So we are up here a little bit early because we want to see, first of all, how the food will be prepared. And then we're going to have some activities later on. So stay tuned for this special episode on One One Coco. I figure you in it long. I used to eat me on food. Mm -hmm. She come and she sick. I still helping her cook. She went before she dead. One day she tell me, um, when I dead, I will leave this saga for you. I said, when you dead, go eat it. <laughs> and the thing didn't go. Uh -uh, you still have it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. After she dead, she really decided to take over with your book and continue. Well, the traditional dumpling already gone in the in the piece soup, so you miss that. Okay. Yeah, but right now, just making some normal size. Yes. Yeah. 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 Firewood. For those who are here a little earlier, I know that you saw the big pots and you enjoy the smoke in your eyes. I believe we started um, one week prior. To the Saraka, we went out and bought Saraka. Do you know what that is? So, for our neighboring community to know that Saraka is coming at 4 30 in the morning, we went out and bought the Saraka in our neighborhood. We went out with the drums and the shell and the bell, all right, to indicate that River Sally Saraka is coming on. Tell me what you're doing, Anna. I'm straining coconut. Okay. You make coconut milk? Yeah, to make coconut yeah. milk. And what do you do with the coconut milk? We use it to cook most of the foods. Right? Soup food or even dry food. Okay. Like rice and peas and food like that. Okay. So this, that's some that you're Yeah, that's, that is those that are okay. already strained. There's so much food, they could feel the whole of Grenada. <laughs> Hello. And we're at another compound again. Kim, please. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who this Kim I keep hearing. You're going to see Kim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Want to go view the pot and thing like that? Oh, no. All right. That's oil dung. Mm -hmm. Yes. We put in some peas here. Yeah. Rice and peas. Rice and peas. Peas in the pot just. Bubbling to oh, boss okay. uh -huh. to bring the rice and peas. Uh -huh. Here, we have just some provision in the fire here and it's boiling uh -huh. and streaming. We have over here, that's that's my favorite here, the chupo. Oh, hey, it just yes. started. We know that. Okay, we know okay. that. Right. Yes. Okay. This one is for the pea soup. Some Ooh, peas okay. up here. You see the pig and the turkey and thing boiling up yeah. in there? Uh -huh. That's a piece of pot. All right. All right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, man. Thanks. Yeah. And of course, very important firewood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't cook any food. <laughs> yeah, it, it has tasted good even and when. What is that? M. We understand it is a feast of Thanksgiving. It's a feast that brings us as community together. And today we are grateful, ladies and gentlemen, 
that you are here to partake in this authentic Soraka feast with us. Then there's just throwing up your eyes and the corners. And what do you wet it with? What do you wet it with? Rum. You wet it rum. To invite the ancestor spirits to bless the feast. Oh, it first there's a libation. Oh, and you spread the, the, the rice and the corn and you wet it. The four corners, you invite the ancestors spirits to bless the food. <laughs> Profession, male, uh, hello, male and female dumplings, bottle rum, a bun, as always called buns, a bun, corn product or something with corn, bakes and salt fish, boiled eggs, a bouquet of flowers, it must have bougainvillea, have a fruit, a piece of red cloth, pea soup. Hallelujah, pumpkin, and roast breadfruit. Give me support by two of his members of his team. But he is showing us how you dance this thing. Of course, he has the tallest suit as well. See my dog, them others don't say when you're upstairs. 